You ever eaten milkweed? Not only is milkweed necessary food for monarchs and for milkweed beetles, we can eat it too and have for thousands of years. There's some milkweed beetles hanging out on the unopened buds, which are like better broccoli. But today I'm trying an experiment using the flowers. I want to see if I can capture their beautiful summertime fragrance in a fermented syrup, known in Korea as a cheong. That's for anyone who's wondering why the name of this plant is milkweed. Oh my God, while I was gathering flowers, I found a sleeping bumblebee. Sweet dreams, baby. I gathered just this jar from a huge patch of milkweed and only took one bunch per plant and not from every plant, just from a few. In the fall, we'll come back here and help spread out some of their seeds. And before some meanie butts in the comments are like, don't eat that, the monarch. First of all, we gotta stop only fixating on one charismatic species. Milkweeds support a lot of different insects, not just monarchs. Also, if people find out that there are additional cool things that you can do with milkweed, guess what? They'll be more likely to plant their areas milkweed! Do you know how many more people will plant milkweed because of your mean comment? Zewa! Also, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but no, butterfly milkweed is not one of the edible milkweed. It's also not native to my area, so I don't know what he's doing here. He belongs way further south. And did you notice no one was pollinating him because he didn't evolve with our species? This smells like what dreams! Merge them in distilled or spring water to drive out buggies, but not kill the wild yeast on the flower. Then I'm going to shake the flowers dry and put them into this jar, do a layer of sugar, flowers, sugar, flowers. Here she is. Now I first learned about Cheong's from my friend ethnobotanist, Linda Blackout. Though, seeing Johnny's videos also definitely made me want to try this. Chunks work by submerging plant material in sugar. The sugar pulls the moisture out of the plant material, making a syrup. The wild yeast on the plant material ferments the syrup, which helps it stay preserved for longer. Here's my mulberry chiang. And Korea isn't the only place that utilizes this type of sugar fermentation liquid technology. Magolio from Italy is made the same way, but using green pine cones. Check back to see if the experiment is a success. Happy snacking, don't die. And before someone's like, ah, oh, you're a vegan, why are you using white sugar? It's beet sugar, it doesn't use bone char. Calm down.